you finish you finish school in two and a half years. Mm -hmm. You get the graphic design degree. So you're like yep. 20, 21 years old, whatever yep. it is now. Still homeless, pretty much. Still homeless. Yeah. But do you get a job? Like what, what happens next? So I'm getting ready to graduate um, the Art Institute. And for every graduating class, they hold like a job fair or like a like a... Let's guess what it kind of is, the job fair. <clears throat> what is this? Prospective employers come and they want to check out the, the graduating class. Mm. So, you know, companies that need graphic designers, companies that, you know, they come there, they set up a little booth and you go there and you got, you know, your portfolio, things you've been working on over the past two and a half years. And you go to each one. You're like, this is what I've been working on. You know, and they're like, OK, well, this is the opportunity. And then you kind of just bullshit with each one and blah, blah, blah. So we did that, and then I graduated. And about a week after I graduated, <clears throat> one of my counselors called me at the at the college, and he told me to come in and talk to him. He said I had a job offering from one of the companies from the uh, from the job fair. So I came in, I talked to him, and he he's like, okay, well, this is what they're offering. Uh, you know, this is the salary, and and you know, this is the job title, and uh, all this. This is where the company is. And when he told me that they were offering eighty thousand dollars a year <sighs> to start, what year is this? 2005 or wait no like 03. 2004 i graduated high school 03 so this is probably uh 2004 or something that this is yeah well, 2004. No, it had to be a couple you graduated high school two and a half years before this right yeah i graduated high school 2002 i believe no no 03 at 02 and then i went to college so three four so this is almost 2005 it's like 2004 2005 Still 80 grand 80 grand God. 80 fucking this thousand isn't dollars new york a year. city either Dude, I, I've been homeless my whole life. I've never once I heard that eighty. Once I heard that eighty thousand dollars, fall off your fucking oh, chair. Oh, dude, I was like, yeah, fucking. I tried to, you know, and like my counselor was like, listen, I've never really seen offers like this before. He's like, this isn't, this isn't a normal, you know, situation. Why did they offer you that? They thought your work was amazing. I guess. Yeah, they they, they really liked me. The guy really liked me. Um, you know, I guess he had seen something in me that I. He didn't tell me that, but apparently he had seen something in me because when I went to go work for him. He used to just fucking like, come on, let's go. And he used to hop in the car with him. And we used to just go do shit that had nothing to do with work. What kind of company was it? <clears throat> it was a graphic design company. So we did uh, screen printing. We did uh, so we screen printed T-shirts, flyers. Um, we did like the um, the window um, stickers for like mm. wraps. So we did vehicle wraps. We did graphic wraps. We did uh, window. We did pretty much everything. We had the big big printers. Wow. Yeah. yeah, everything. And when I started there, there was another guy working there who was their lead graphic design artist, but he was getting uh, he couldn't stay in the country or something like that. His green card, his passport, mm. whatever was going on, he had to go back to his country where he was working. So that's why they they brought me in, and they used him to train me for a few months of you know not really graphic design <laughs> on the way out the door. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Just this is how like, this is how the company works. This is what we do on a daily basis. This is what we print. This is how you, this is how you run this machine. You know, this is how you deal with this customer. So I learned all of that, um, and then he went back to his country, and I was just lead graphic design artist. Poor guy. Yeah. Adios, Javier. Gracias. Yep. Got you now. Yeah. And, so you uh, took over the whole thing. Yeah, I took over. I was lead graphic design artist, and they hired me 80K a year salary, you know, so I was, you know, fucking, it wasn't like an hourly wage position. Um, and this was, you know, more money than I had ever seen in my entire life. When I got that first check, honestly. Bi-weekly pay? No, it was once a month. Once a month pay. Yeah, so 80 like, divided between, by 12. The, between the first and the third or whatever. It's like five or six grand a month. So you see that first That first check, check. was like 5,500 or something like that. And that, that, at, at that point, I had had money like that before, sporadically, but I'd had it, and then it was immediately spent. You know what I mean? And you like built I, it up. Yeah. But this is one check. Boom. Wow. And I was like, holy fucking shit. What do you, you know? do? Oh, I went and got an apartment. I went and got a fucking, I went and got an apartment. On, you ran uh, it, I assume? Yeah, I went, yeah. And, and it was a really nice one, too. It was like fucking, at this, it was like 1500 a month or something like that. You definitely have, at this point, smart as you may be for surviving on your own, you have zero concept of money, I None. assume. None. I am dollar dumb. I had zero fucking yep. concept of how money works about, you know, inflation and saving and fucking investing. And, like, I, I had no fucking idea at all. So I went and got the most fucking nicest expensive apartment I could fucking afford. That how much I felt. a month? It was $1,500 a month. And this is an 04, so you got to imagine the place yeah. was fucking, it was awesome. It was on Brickell Avenue, right downtown Miami. Oh, and, you were balling. Uh, oh, killing them. I'm killing them. And then I guess so I got the apartment and then I went and then like the next month, remember the next month after that, I went and got a brand new Cadillac, like a Cadillac STS or something like that. The luck, the big fucking, the big one. 
and um, went and got a brand new car, had a fucking brand new place, you know, nice furniture. I'm fucking, you know, I'm the man at work. I walk in. I really don't have to work that hard because there's two other people that work underneath me who they actually do all of the physical printing and the everything You're else. Designing. I'm just... I'm just here moving, you know, doing my thing, which is nothing. I mean, and all the shit they gave me to do, I could do in 15 or 20 minutes. So I had the rest of the day pretty much to do whatever the fuck I wanted. Holy shit. Yeah. So I went out and I was learning, I was learning uh, vehicle wraps. Like I would do yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, And so I went out to the garage and I was learning how to actually physically wrap the vehicles because I was extreme. I'm, I'm a car guy. Right. Always have been. And um, so I would actually go out and physically actually learn how to wrap the vehicles and shit like that. Yeah. So that was fun. Were you getting in trouble at all or did you just totally no. take up the... The drinking was a little bit of an issue. Like the weekends, I would go pretty hard, and I was always—I would always come to Man, work. It's Miami. I would always come into work Monday with like a black eye or fucking, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, like a big fucking scar on my face or fucking. She was worth it. <laughs> half my leg fucking tore up. You know, I was. <laughs> they were like, "You have a good weekend? Fuck yeah! Haven't slept since great weekend. haven't slept since Friday. Fucking hopefully uh, I'll get some sleep tonight." I woke up on the SLS pool deck this morning. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, so partying, man, because you know that kind of money. And I was just, I just turned like 21. And you're spending as fast as Oh, I'm just, down. you know, I'm in the bars on the weekend, you know, chasing girls and, you know, so I was having fun. And it's not like, no, it, that's a lot of money back then, especially for, you know, coming out at 21 years old, whatever. It is a lot I of money. I know grown men don't make that kind of money now. But I'm saying. And have families. Yeah, but I'm saying like, it's not like an insane amount of money. No. You're not in no, there no. making it rain $1,000 no, 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 no. stacks. No, no, I can't. No, no, I'm not buying Ferraris and throwing money at so the strip club. you knew club. not to spend money you didn't have in that way. You just no, didn't I, save I was able to pay my bills like i knew right. once i got paid i'd pay my bills and then i would spend everything and i'd be left with like a hundred dollars until my next paycheck thank you for watching the video guys please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below